Hello, in this review, we will look at a futures contract for the Euro USD pair. Ticker 6E We will highlight important volumetric support and resistance levels. We will start with an analysis of upcoming events from the economic calendar. In front of you is a table with the dates of the upcoming central bank meetings. The important dates are 14th, 15th, and the 22nd of June. The Federal Reserve, Fed, and then the European Central Bank, ECB, will approve their interest rates two days in a row. For the USA inflation is still a hot topic, but based on reports from leading experts and a survey of analysts, 75% believe the interest rate will be 5 to 5.25% and only 25% believe the Fed will raise the interest rate. In any case, Traders on June 14 and 15 should be cautious and ready for sharp spikes when the data is released. The percent rate of the central bank is a fundamental indicator, which strongly influences decision-making and the choice of trading strategy. It is likely that the start of the trend on 6E could be on the 14th to the 15th of June. Profile cluster shows the distribution of trading volume by price during the week. Volume limit 80.000 contracts and higher light gray color. With this limit we see the volume cluster in each bar, the core. Briefly about markers on the chart itself. The circle, in blue, indicates when the Fed interest rate meetings took place. The interest rate hike began before the Euro FX crossed 1. However, Throughout the whole uptrend, the interest rate was increased to 5.25%. If the Fed and ECB do not cut interest rates, a continuation of the current trend should be expected. Total Histogram Open Interest The increase of the open interest indicator throughout the trend is a clear indication that the trend can still continue. The current June contract of the Euro FX OI peaked at the same level as the previous one. For a breakup of 1.11, it is expected that the open interest would have to overcome the previous contract's peak level of 980k. Volume levels The important resistance range 1.1 to 1.11 is marked in red on the slide. The key support range is 1.06 to 1.068. As long as buyers hold the price above the support range, there is a high probability of upward trend continuation. For long-term buying, the resistance range should be monitored, namely to wait for its breach. In case the buyers fail to control the price and push the price above 1.11 within 3-4 to four weeks of hitting this range, it would be wise to play it safe and take some profits or close the buy. Additionally, clusters of buyer and seller activity are marked with rectangles of the appropriate color. Main volume area 1.0985 to 1.107, the range is marked in blue on the chart. In almost the entire range, the sellers have taken control of the price. Given this strong activity, the main area range should be considered as a resistance range. Resistance at 1.088 to 1.093, the range is marked in red on the slide. This resistance level coincides with the VWAP indicator 1.088. This strengthens the value of this range. It can be considered both as a level to find a sell entry point and as a buy fixation level. Support at 1.0675 to 1.072 buyers in this range actively retained control at the beginning of the contract. This range is worth taking note of and keeping an eye on how the buyers will defend the range. 1.06 to 1.0635 support level was formed at the beginning of the contract. The breakdown of this level confirms the weakness of the buyers and cancels the search for buy trade scenarios. I recommend putting price alerts. 1.088 buyers intend to return the price above VWAP. 1.1 upward trend strengthens. 1.111 fourth attempt to hit the high. 1.0675 sellers are about to break through the June contract low. 1.06 completion of reversal pattern.
The open interest indicator is an additional indicator for evaluating the state of the current trend. The orange-colored vertical lines with markings separate periods of participant activity based on changes in the open interest indicator, OI. Now more detail on each of these from left to right. Number 1 First strong expansion of the price range after placing positions at the beginning of the contract. Number 2 Second buying wave after the first correction. The trend is not as volatile, trading volume is lower. Number 3 First signals of end of main trend. Trend is falling down. OI 750 to 775K. Number 4 OI remains unchanged. Price is lower than VWAP. Buyers liquidate positions. Number 5 Rapid dumping of positions OI 771K 727K. The bar chart slide has an active second chart function. Button second chart on red bar. White chart, Euro FX. Blue chart, British pound. The line near the timeline shows how many ticks one chart is away from the other. A delta of zero indicates a strong correlation. An increase of this indicator signals a broken correlation between the two instruments. From the first days of the June contract, the GBP and EUR kept close to each other. Sometimes the pound was moving away, but the euro was trying to keep up. This correlation remained till the beginning of May. For the reference point, I marked the point when the delta was zero. And both currencies topped out almost simultaneously. On the slide, it is marked with a vertical line. Note the point on May 2nd which is the last time the delta correlation was at zero. Both were moving further apart, and the last time the euro tried to go up again, it did not make it, though the GBP was braver and reached 1.265. The delta reached 140 ticks on May 25th, and in early June the euro was near the low of the contract when the pound started moving towards its highs again. As a result, both currencies reached a delta of 380 ticks. It remains to be seen when the euro starts to close the gap. Subscribe and don't forget to turn on the bell so you don't miss the latest analysis on our YouTube channel.